When it comes to drawing realistically, I really believe that a super realistic drawing really boils down to having four key things. And so in this video, I wanna go through what are the four key factors that make a realistic drawing so realistic. So the first factor that I believe all realistic drawings have is a great contrast. And in my opinion, this is the most important tip. And I've done a whole video on why this is the most important tip. I will link a card up to that video. But contrast is so important. And what it basically means is that you need to have a range in your values. You can't just have your drawing all sort of in the mid-tone value range. A lot of people are too scared to go dark, but if you guys master contrast and if you make sure that you preserve your highlights and you get in those deep shadows to really give that 3D look to it, then contrast is really going to elevate your drawing and make it look a lot more realistic. I do believe that contrast is something that people kind of underestimate and undervalue, but really it is a building block of having a successful and realistic drawing. The second factor that you need to have is actually an accurate sketch. A lot of people master the shade and master all of the other stuff but they didn't start with an accurate sketch and so it doesn't look realistic. This is most important when you're doing like anything that has like a specific anatomy like a person or a certain animal and it can be very obvious and really stick out like a sore thumb if you haven't got your anatomy right. If your proportions aren't right it really does stand out and no matter how great your shade is and your colors and how you put them down if you haven't got a good sketch and it isn't accurate then it's just gonna let the whole piece down so before you go in add in all of your shading all of your colored pencil all of your paint and everything make sure that you've mastered a realistic sketch and I will be doing a video very soon on how you guys can get a perfect accurate sketch so don't worry about that I've got you covered there but you just need to have that in your mind don't go and start shading if you haven't got an accurate sketch make sure your sketch is 100% Factor three is detail. So realism does mean that you have to have a certain amount of detail. It doesn't mean that more detail equals more realism because again, if you have tons of detail in your artwork but you haven't got a good contrast, then no matter how much detail you have, it's not gonna make up for good contrast. You need to have all of these four things together. But having detail is going to be important in giving a realistic look. That doesn't mean that if you're drawing an animal, for example, that you have to draw every strand of fur. If you're drawing hair, you don't have to draw every strand of hair. It just means that you need to be aware and focus and observe the reference image and see and pick out all of that detail. So what it means is that you need to spend more time focusing and observing your reference image. Instead of rushing through it and wanting to get it all done in one night, just set yourself a goal of wanting to get a certain area done in a night. So for example, if you're working on a portrait, just focus on doing an eye and just look at all of the detail in the iris, focus on the eyelashes, what direction are they going, really observe everything like you've never seen it before. A lot of people when they're drawing portraits and stuff that they've seen before, they think they already know how the eye looks, how the nose looks, how the lips look. And so they just go to their default rather than actually looking at the reference image and the fact that everyone's different and picking out those unique bits that are gonna make the person that you're drawing look like them. And finally, factor number four is color choice. I've put this last because I don't feel that colour choice is the most important thing when getting a realistic drawing, even with something like coloured pencil. But I do feel like colour choice and choosing the perfect colours is something that people focus on a lot. People focus so much on making sure that their colours are perfect to the reference image rather than trying to pick colours that have the same sort of value, like picking colours that are dark enough. It doesn't matter necessarily that the colour is a slight bit of the hue off what it is on the reference image. Because if you think about it logically, if you were to manipulate a reference image, change the hue of it, maybe hype up the saturation a bit, like skew off the white balance a bit, it's still gonna look realistic, even if the colors are slightly changed because everything's still there, the detail's still there, the sketch is still accurate, you still got the contrast, you're just changing the colors a slight bit but it is important to get them somewhat in the right ballpark. So I would recommend, you know, making a reference image, not reference image, making a color chart of all of the colors that you have available. If you're doing black and white images like graphite and charcoal, then this is really easy for you because you're only using grayscale, And so you don't actually have to worry about this factor. You've just got three. 
you've just got free to master. But if you're using colored pencils, watercolors, markers, anything that has color to it, then make sure that you do a color chart so that you're picking accurate colors. Then take that color chart, take your reference image, and just you know run your color chart alongside your reference next to every part that you need to pick the colour for and pick the closest colours, learn how to mix them as well and like I've said before I've got videos on that as well which I'll link up above so that you can check them out but picking the right colours is important, don't be really really worrying about getting the perfect colour but do focus on getting colours that are natural to what you're drawing for example if you're drawing blonde hair don't use super artificial yellow colours, that's not going to help with giving it a realistic look. If you're drawing skin tones, don't just use the one skin tone out of the colours. Try and mix lots of colours as well to make it a bit more natural. But those are the four factors for realistic drawing. I really hope you enjoyed the video and what factor do you guys need to master the most? What is your strength? What factor are you great at? And what is letting you down? What is making your drawings not very realistic? Let me know in the comment section. Let me know if you have any other tips for everyone. But that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you're new around here, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on my future tips and tutorial videos as well as my advice videos. But that is it for today and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everybody.